Let's make a nativity puzzle. To start, Dave from Liberty Homes first started by cutting the poplar down to size, and then he used his spray adhesive to stick the pattern onto the wood so it wouldn't slide around while we were cutting it out. Next, he used a drill press to make the first hole. If you don't have a drill press, you can use a drill as well. Now it is time to use the scroll saw. To start, Dave first removed the blade from the scroll saw and threaded it through the hole. Once it was through, he attached the blade back on and adjusted the tension until it was just right. He first started by cutting the manger part out. Once it was cut out, he used Gorilla Glue to hold it to the back piece. And then he clamped it into place until it was dry. Now to cut the rest of the nativity out. When you are cutting this, go slow and make sure you are staying on the line so your puzzle will fit together nicely once it is finished. Only cut along the solid lines not the dotted ones. We will use the dotted lines next. decided to take my turn on the scroll saw too instead of recording. It has been a while since I used a scroll saw, but I sure have missed it. Once the nativity was cut out, it was time to go back and cut out all the little lines. Once that was done, Dave worked on the dotted lines. We are just going to indent those dotted lines to add a few details. Next, we use the drill press to indent the eyes. Notice some of the eyes on the people are on the sides and not included in the pattern. Now we need to sand the paper off of the wood. To do this, we found it easier to clamp the pieces to the side of the table and then sand the paper off. I even took my turn in sanding the paper off. Once the paper was sanded off the top, Dave cut the roof of the manger and then finished sanding the paper off of the manger as well. To finish things up, we used a 220 grit sandpaper to sand everything smooth. Once it was smooth, we added a beeswax to seal it all up. Ta-da, now we have a beautiful nativity set.